Obama, of course, wants us to be part of an EU that does a TTIP deal, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership deal. And we deal. are on the cusp of that now. Yes, unfortunately they, they are, yes. It's not a free trade agreement, it's a corporate stitch-up. It will allow giant American corporations to access and buy up chunks of the National Health Service. And I'm actually very against that, although generally I'm for the principle of free trade. When it comes, though, to negotiating a trade deal, how quickly would that happen then? I mean, the President well, of the United States says between five and ten years. Well, how fast would well, it be? The President of the United States spouts the same line that Mr Cameron spouts, up to ten years to do a trade deal. Well, do you know what? The Australians did a trade deal with America, done and dusted in ten months. And if countries like Oman can do a trade deal with America, you know, I mean, these arguments basically are saying Britain's too small, Britain's not good enough, Britain's not strong enough to make its way in the world. And frankly, I think it's defeatist rubbish. It, it's not just Barack Obama, though, is it? I mean, Hillary Clinton, uh, in, uh, very likely to be the, the candidate for the presidential uh, nomination. Uh, her advisor is saying that uh, it is concurring with what Obama is saying. Well, that is the current view of the State Department uh, in Washington. Um, our friends in Washington do not want us to be an independent, self-governing, democratic nation. Uh, they want us to be part of a political union in Europe. Well, who cares what they want? It doesn't matter. It's what we want, actually, that matters. And all over the world, there are countries, independent countries, like Switzerland, for example, who've got a, a huge outreach of trade connections and deals all over the world. If they can do it, we can do even better.